Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that sounds like your thing, please do consider hitting subscribe. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite category of skincare products, and that is toners. Oh yeah. You know, I love a good hydrating toner. If you've never heard me talk about these before. I've got quite a few different Korean brands. I've got some indie brands here that I'm going to be trying testing and letting you know, are these toners a yay or a nay? Give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right into it. First up is the P Calm Barrier Cycle Toner. And this is a new to me Korean brand. I think it is just like a new indie Korean brand. And this product is really focused on sensitive skin. They say that this is best when your skin is at its most irritated, most vulnerable, and most sensitive. This is a product that is going to help strengthen your skin's moisture barrier and help calm your skin down. So the ingredients that like stuck out to me as soon Soon as I was reading them, definitely niacinamide, panthenol, we have centella, and we also have the four active compounds of centella, including metacasticide, which are very soothing for the skin. So that's all kind of lining up with the marketing for this product. I did also notice two ingredients that I kind of just want to like highlight or flag. These are not good or bad. I just want to kind of point them out. Um, one is tea tree extract. Now I want to emphasize extract. This is not the essential oil. However, I know some people do sometimes have a sensitivity to the extract. So I kind of want to flag that for my super sensitive skinned friends out there. And then witch hazel water. I know some people find this to be a little bit drying on the skin because it does have an astringent property to it. Actually, both of these ingredients are really good um, anti-inflammatory ingredients. They're great for acne prone skin, but I know sometimes it's not always the friendliest to sensitive skin. Something else I noticed on the ingredients list is papaya fruit extract. Now this is interesting because I see this a lot in products that claim to have a mild exfoliating effect on the skin. This is basically the fruit version of AHA. It can help to lift away dead skin cells on the skin way gentler than your more common forms of AHA like glycolic acid and lactic acid. This is obviously going to be playing a very minimal role in the formulation, but there might be a little bit of skin cell turnover with all of these ingredients together along with that papaya extract. This is really, really, really watery. This doesn't have like any body to it or moisture. This is just like a really thin, very light type hydrating toner. And what I've noticed about this one as I've been using it is it is um, quite good if you have a little bit of like breakouts or like inflamed pimples coming up. This kind of has like a anti-inflammatory soothing property to it, but I think it also has like a skin clarifying effect to it as well. So I think this is going to be a good one if you have acne or pimples coming up and you want a toner that has some of those um, anti-acne, anti-inflammation types of ingredients in it without being too harsh to the skin. Do you see how like thin this is? This probably isn't hydrating enough for me personally, um, but I think that as far as like average hydration goes, it definitely meets it meets average hydration goals. So yay or nay on the Pea Calm toner. You know, I have to say on the marketing aspect of this toner being, you know, geared towards helping with your skin's moisture barrier and being really appropriate for very irritated and sensitive skin. Just on that claim, it's going to be a nay. In my opinion, in my opinion, <laughs> these are not necessarily the ingredients that I would want to be putting on my skin when it's in its most vulnerable, most irritated, sensitive state. I would generally be steering away from the um, extracts and um, I would definitely be steering away from the mild fruit AHAs when my skin is damaged. All that being said, this toner is really good for acne prone skin. Like this is so good if you are getting breakouts because there's a wonderful anti-inflammation benefit to this. This really soothes breakouts and this really helps 
calm down your skin and clear up your skin. So I just feel like this is a mismarketed toner. So on the marketing, no, I don't know that this is what I would recommend for the most irritated skin. But if you have like acne prone skin and you're looking for a toner to bring some of that relief, some of that soothing, some of the redness reduction and kind of just get those pimples healing and out of your life and just kind of help your skin calm down in that sense, this is an awesome toner. Next up is the Geek and Gorgeous Liquid Hydration. Now this is a indie Hungarian brand and I honestly feel like Geek and Gorgeous is like the darling of the skincare community lately. Their products are getting so much love from skincare junkies and I really think it's because the approach of the brand. They're just very ingredient driven. They just focus on the ingredients that are proven that work for your skin and they don't fill out the formula with any other fluff. It's just very straightforward ingredient driven formulas. I love that. So I was really excited to try this brand out. It's the very first product that I have tried from this brand. And um, just from the ingredients list alone, I got excited because we have 5% of panthenol in the ingredients. And you know, I always say panthenol so good for your moisture barrier. It brings lots of hydration into the skin, but it help, also helps fortify your skin's lipid layer, which means it helps your skin retain that hydration that it just got from all that panthenol. We also have quite a few different natural moisturizing factors here that are going to oomph up the hydration benefit. And then interesting, we also have urea and lactic acid. Now these are both ingredients that are barrier beneficial. They definitely can help your skin's health, but both actually have a very mild exfoliating benefit to them. They just help to gently lift away dead skin cells, kind of like the papaya extract. I mean, we're talking on a level of full on chemical exfoliation and like urea <laughs> or a little bit further down uh, the list here. So as far as irritation concerns, um, I think that they're going to be really minimal. And this also has a really light, watery, thin type of texture. So no moisture here, no body, no stickiness, just like a really thin, lightweight, hydrating toner. And this feels so nice and like kind of calming on my skin. Um, it's really layerable because there's really no stickiness. There's no thickness to this. So if you like a couple layers of toner, this is going to be great for layering up a couple different times. I think this would actually work for pretty much all skin types. I think it could be a good choice for dehydrated skin. It's probably not the best choice. So I'm going to give you two reasons for that. Number one, the hydration, it's good, but maybe, you know, I've found other ones that really get in there a little bit better. But I think a, a more economical reason for it not being great for dehydrated skin is you know how you like to layer your toner up until your skin feels satisfied? This is kind of a tiny bottle. It's 110 milliliter of product. So yay or nay. And I got to give this one a yay. I really like this toner. Um, and I think it's just because it's so straightforward. Like this is just that simple way to start up, start off your skincare routine with a good amount of hydration. It's nice and layerable and it's got a good amount of panthenol, which my skin always appreciates. I will say, <laughs> as much as I've been reaching for this a lot lately, does it make it into that like circle of like my top five, like of my entire lifetime toners? No, but you also know I am so picky about hydration and toners that that's a really... That's a really hard circle to enter for any product, but this comes close. It comes really close. I have really fond feelings for this. I'm really enjoying this product. Next up is the Pure Rice Water Milky Toner Pad from KTW. Now this is a new uh, indie Korean skincare brand and interesting, this is a sister brand to RNW. You know, I really enjoy that K-Beauty brand as well. So K KTW stands for um, key is the water. KTW. 
key is the water and they're really focused on hydrating, very gentle and simple formulations. So when I first looked at the ingredients, it really reminded me a lot of Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, one of the most famous sort of milky hydrating products out there, right? Um, they actually do share a few ingredients in common. Um, I'm gonna spoil it right now. This is not like Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, but the ingredients here kind of reminded me um, of that product. So we have niacinamide for a little bit of brightening and skin strengthening, and we have meadow foam seed oil. Now this is an emollient that is really well known for bringing moisture and nourishment and comfort to your skin without a really heavy and greasy feel. So you see this ingredient used across a lot of products that have that nice moisturizing feel without that overwhelming, heavy, greasy finish. Now these pads are, um, they're made out of like natural unbleached cotton. So you're gonna see some little like flecks in them, but they actually feel really hydrating with just a touch of moisture. They're a lot lighter than some of my favorite moisturizing toners, but that's actually really nice for the toner step. I feel like um, because I don't wanna get too heavy and thick and super nourishing and moisturizing right at the beginning of my skincare routine, I kinda wanna like balance that out as I build up layers, I build up thickness and I build up moisture, especially in the winter time. So these have been awesome because they do that little bit of moisture that really just makes my skin calm down in the winter. It helps a little bit with the dryness right at the beginning of my routine. So yay or nay, and I gotta say, this is a yay for me. I've really been enjoying this. I'm not always the biggest fan of toner pads just because I think it can be a little bit wasteful with the cotton pads. But all that being said, there is a benefit to leaving like the cotton pad soaked in toner on your face for a few minutes. It really does help the absorption process. It really helps the ingredients just get into your skin a little bit deeper, much like a sheet mask, you know? And so when I put these onto my skin, I get all that deep hydration. I get that nice amount of moisture and nourishment. It reduces redness on my skin and inflammation. It just kind of helps to give my skin the TLC it needs when it is ailing in the winter. Now you may be wondering before we move on, where does this fit into my favorite sort of milky, creamy, moisturizing toner products, which would be Dr. Seracal Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence and Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. And I would have to say this is lighter than both of those. So if you're looking for a moisturizing product that is light, go for this first. The middle product would actually be the uh, vegan uh, kombucha tea essence from Dr. Seracal. Um, that's a little bit more moisturizing, but still on the lighter side. And then Cream Skin Refiner is the ultimate moisturizing nourishment for dry skin. Next up, let's talk about the Hamish All Clean Low pH Balancing Vegan Toner. So when I first saw this product, I was really excited about it because it's a hydrating, watery toner from Hamish with Without essential oils, any artificial fragrance, or drying alcohol. So my sensitive skin was like, I think this is gonna be, you know, something I can actually put on my face. <laughs> And then I started looking into the ingredients a little bit further. And first and foremost, it's a really long ingredients list. What really stood out to me uh, looking at this list was the amount of fragrant plant extracts in here. Now, let me just tell you, because we're starting to get into that like eh, fragrance kind of territory. First and foremost, if you are new to my channel, I want to let you know I mostly talk about products that do not contain fragrance, not because I believe that it is harmful, that it is going to ruin your skin, and that you should that you should avoid it at all costs. Absolutely not. There's nothing wrong with fragrance. However, I have sensitive skin, so everything's coming from my perspective of trying to not cause irritation on my skin. Now let's talk about fragrant plant extracts. It's not as potent as essential oils, um, nor is it as potent as artificial fragrance, but it is still on the scale of fragrance and it still is on the scale of potential irritation, albeit much lower on the scale. Everything comes down to how it's been formulated. You know, it's not just about cherry picking individual ingredients, 
about how everything comes together. But I have to say there's a lot in here and I do have to make a big deal about it for all of us here with sensitive skin. This product does contain a little bit of PHA. Now that is, um, again, we're, we're talking about lots of toners with um, dead skin cell uh, clearing abilities. This is actually considered a new generation AHA. It can help refine the skin like AHA, but it's um, a lot less likely to cause irritation on the skin. It's a much gentler ingredient. It's not in like a high amount in this product, but you are gonna get a little bit of that dead skin cell clearing ability with this product. This is really watery, really lightweight. I will say that is kind of my favorite uh, texture for a toner. It's just when it's just really watery. And this, um, it has, it doesn't smell like good. It doesn't have fragrance in it, you know, proper fragrance in it, but it does have fragrant extracts in it. It doesn't smell like any of those extracts, but it does, it has something to it. I can't really explain it. It's not unpleasant. It's not like super fragrant. It's just kind of there. It really quickly absorbs into the skin. It feels really replenishing. Like it has a really nice kind of feel on the skin, a really nice amount of hydration. It's layerable. It's not sticky. So yay or nay. And I have to say this product did not cause irritation on my skin yet but I'm just so cautious about that that I just don't really feel comfortable using this long term. So for me, from the perspective of sensitive skin, I actually have to give this a nay. I just, I don't like the ingredients, okay? <laughs> I just don't. And it makes me a little bit nervous for my sensitive skin. If you do not have sensitive skin, if you have used, you know, like plant extracts with no problems, then I think this could be a really nice toner for you. It's got a very pleasing texture that's going to work for a lot of different skin types because it absorbs into the skin so beautifully with a really nice amount of hydration. But, you know, I'm always advocating for my sensitive skin friends, so I do have to give it a name, but I think it can be a nice product for everybody else. Next up, let's talk about People's Beauty Triple Hyaluronic Acid Essence Toner. And this is a new to me brand, but they really are focused on formulating products for all skin types in mind. They also focus on making their products genderless so that it is going to appeal to everybody not just a specific type of person um and that's really you know the the reasoning behind the name people's beauty this is beauty for all people as far as the ingredients go we do have three types of hyaluronic acid we've got glycerin which is a great skin hydrator and we also have some mushroom extract which is a really great skin conditioner it makes your skin feel really silky soft the texture it's like um it's like a watery toner with body to it. Um, it's not super thick, but it just has a little bit of that oomph to it. It's not as thick as you might expect something with three types of hyaluronic acid to be. So I was really impressed with that because sometimes I don't like that like heavy hyaluronic acid feel on my skin. You know how it can feel a little thick and a little bit sticky. This has definitely been balanced out with the other humectants in here to give a really pleasing feel on the skin. So this really fills your skin with hydration. It's definitely got a plumping factor to it and it, it does comfort and balance the skin much like hyaluronic acid does, but it just doesn't overwhelm it with thickness or with stickiness. So yay or nay. And I gotta say, this is a yay. I um, was really pleasantly surprised by this product. I honestly didn't really know what to expect from it being like so brand new to it, not knowing anything about it. I really like this. And I think that it comes down to, for me, it's the texture because hyaluronic acid can get real inelegant on you really quickly. Have you noticed that about products that have like a lot of hyaluronic acid in it? They can get so thick and sticky and it can just kind of overwhelm your skin or just not feel great you know? And I'm all about texture. I want my skincare to just absorb beautifully into my skin, plump it up, make it feel hydrated, but not overwhelm it. And that's exactly what this product does. I just feel like the way that, that this is formulated, it's just a really elegant, straightforward, simple formulation, but just elegant in the texture. It's a real joy to use. It feels so pleasant on the skin. And um, my skin's just been drinking it up and really enjoying it. So if you like a little bit of plumping, a little bit of 
hydration with your essence, but not so thick, not so sticky. This is a gorgeous one that brings a good amount of hydration and no stickiness to the skin. So that was like a really fun way to test out a bunch of new toners with you guys and just share my like in real time opinions about these products. And um, let me know, is there a product from this video or a brand that you're most excited about? Cause there was lots of new stuff in this one. Let me know in the comment box below. If you love this video, if you love skincare, if you love self care, you made it this far, but you have not hit subscribe, please consider doing so before you go. I release lots of new skincare and self care content throughout the week. So consider turning on notifications too. So you're never out of the loop when the new content drops. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. And I can't wait to talk to you in the next video. Bye.